Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Console Craft. My name is Evan, and I have a couple of cool things I have to show you today. The first thing is what's in my inventory, which is uh, obsidian. Uh, this is enough to make a, uh, three nether portals, but today I'll probably only be making one. But uh, I got the obsidian with the first diamond pickaxe of the season. That's right, we have diamonds now. And I have eight to be exact, but I had to use the three to make the pickaxe and get the obsidian. But uh, this looks like a lot, but this took about three hours. And I got most of it after I got my diamond pickaxe, which means it was pretty fast. Uh, Lapis Lazuli gives you a ton, so I probably only found four or five ores, and I got all this from uh, just that. The gold took a little bit. This was probably the hardest thing to get, which is why there's the least. A ton of coal, a ton of redstone. This is going to be good for future projects, and then obviously a ton of cobblestone. But uh, I also found a couple more emeralds, which is pretty good. I was also trading with some villagers for some emeralds, and... That's actually that actually reminds me. That's the next thing I have to show you. Uh, if we come out here, you can see I have I've built this. Um, I did mean to show you this on camera, but I forgot to hit the record button. Yeah, I I know I I've been bad with doing stuff like that lately, but uh, I'm getting better, and hopefully I will stop forgetting to do that or stop losing the files or you know some uh, crazy stuff that happens. But uh, I have this track that I I had to use a lot of the iron for to. Um, it's going right up to one of the cages, so I'll only show you me bringing up two, but, uh, two villagers, that is, but I got uh, a couple of mine carts. This should be enough, because I'm just going to be reusing them. Um, and I got the whole track set up, so I could probably actually start this right now and just show you right away. So it should be pretty simple. Uh, just drop a mine cart in there, and then... Oh, wait one second, I might have to... Uh, I I can never figure out how to get them in on the first try, but yeah, it looks like this isn't working. Uh, I'm gonna come back in a little bit and I'll uh, see if I have everything up and running, and then I'll show you that when I'm done. <sighs> All right, guys, uh, this is my first attempt. Uh, I really hope it works. Uh, a little nervous, not that confident to be honest, but everything looks okay. I'm really scared. Ah, who cares? I'll try it. Let's see. If not, I'll just, you know, it, it's whatever. Let's see. I did not get a chance to see him go up there. That is somewhat frightening. Um. Well. Uh, he's in there safely. Um, and I'm pretty sure that was all I was looking for. Uh, that is a sigh of relief. This is what I like to see. An empty villager breeder. And full villager, uh, cages, I guess. <laughs> no better way to explain them. Uh, you know, I didn't actually think about this. Um, but I, mm, uh, if you're a viewer, you can't see the villagers. One sec, let me just get up there real quick. Perfect estimate. Perfect estimate for this pillar. I have one cobblestone left. But you can see that that villagers, those two villagers are in. I put two villagers in each and threw them in a little bit of carrots and potatoes so they might breed and get a bunch in. Uh, oh, those guys are just in each other for some reason. Yeah, you can see these guys are all in their cages, nice and healthy, happy. Uh, but yeah, um, so right now what I'm going to do is go back and find that, uh, what is it called, the uh, monster spawner. Uh, and then I'll set up the nether portal, because I, I have to go get in there and get some quartz for, and some stuff for uh, to make uh, the um, skeleton farm. I, f I forget what I need it for exactly, but I wrote it down that I needed to go get some. So uh, I'll just do that, I guess. And it'll also unlock an achievement. And So yeah, I'll get back to you when I'm ready to build up the uh, nether portal. And we'll see how that goes. Alright guys, I am back. I have... Uh, I'm decked out in iron gear. I decided to invest in a diamond sword. Figured I, ha I had enough anyway. I'm bringing some obsidian, uh, flint steel, and some cobblestone to protect my nether portal. 
Uh, I'm bringing this just in, just in case my nether portal gets broken, or if I just want to place another one at different coordinates. <clears throat> uh, I'm bringing this pickaxe for backup, and obviously food and lighting. I don't think this will really help, but just in case. And something else that they just added into console is the shield, and I've been really looking forward for this because it's so cool to finally have. I've been trying to figure out recipes to make it for a while now, but I didn't know it wasn't in the game. Oh, hello, friend. Uh, let's get back in there. Alright, I went. Anyway, so I think this is pretty cool. I'm leaving it off for now because it kind of it blocks my point of view a little bit, so. I mean, it looks super cool, don't get me wrong, but, uh, yeah, that looks, that looks awesome. And like that, too. That's nice, with my nice blue eyes. Thor-looking eyes. Yeah, so, um, I guess let's just hop right in and see what we can get. Okay, guys, uh, this is just crazy. Um, oh, actually, I was just gonna say something that kind of ruined it. I was gonna say I'm getting lucky to the point of where it just looks like I'm just straight up cheating. I mean, I spawn right next to another fortress. I just that this series so far is working out pretty well if you ask me. I've been getting real lucky with stuff and this is like the high high key lucky. I mean Look at this. I literally just wanted in, so I don't even have to protect my nether portal per se, because I just walked into this giant cove here where there's, well not giant, but cove where it's already pretty much protected. I mean, I'm going to reinforce it eventually, but you know, just for now I think it can stay the way it is. But I stepped into this cove, so nothing, already, already I have an advantage because nothing's going to be able to hit me from in here or see me that matter and I I swear to you I had no idea that I was gonna do this I didn't plan out coordinates I didn't look it up I just <laughs> I'm t it's just pure luck I'm sure we'll die out here and be very unlucky but you know <laughs> at least we got this one for next to this fortress so I'm gonna try to find a way inside this fortress uh, now might be a good time to use my shield. And, uh... I'm gonna try to find a way inside this port fortress, and then, um... Work my way around it from there. I was not paying attention. I cannot see. Yeah, I'll get back to you once I stop getting hit by a ghast. Alright guys, I, uh, put a ladder going into the fortress. Um, I'm actually not gonna go up there right now. I'll explain later, but... Uh, as you can see, we're right along the wall, so I'm just going up one of these columns. Uh, and I am not going up there because there's a blaze spawner right down that hallway. And I do not want to be caught in that right now, so... Um, let me show you what else I did. I, uh... Make sure there's nothing around. I, uh, put all the co I got- went back and got some cobblestone. And the ladders that you saw in there, and I just did this, uh, I wrapped around the whole, like, little hut that we have, because... Uh, you- probably know that this is resistant to gas fireballs uh, and nether rack isn't so that should help us keep our portal safe and this is a tip I learned this right here uh, a while ago uh, you have to make the hallway in zigzagged preferably like two times so if it went out here that'd be okay but uh, that's still a little close so I like to do it three times just by one block so it's zigzagged so that no matter where the fireball comes there's no possible way of it getting through like to there and the portal's off to the side, so even if it hit right here, it's not going to do any damage to anything inside. And nether brick is resistant also, so that's why I left this and just put cobblestone everywhere else. Uh, the inside is doesn't need to be protected because it's only from the outside that stuff's coming in. But uh, yeah, I'm going to go back to our other world and start to get some... Oh, actually, ah, oh, shoot, I shouldn't have left. I have to, get, I have to go back and get some quartz, but... um. I actually do have to grab some stuff real quick, and then uh, I'm going to go back and get some quartz, and then I'll come back to you when I'm at the mob farm, uh, getting started on building that. Alright guys, I uh, finished up this water. You can see it's flowing from that side to that end, and then it's down in a channel going up there. 
And what I'm going to do now is, that's the side that the portal's on. The portal's right over there. So I'm going to make the bubble column go up behind this wall. Over there and to a room right across from the portal. Which is where all the skeletons are going to fall down. <laughs> but uh, for now, um, I'm going to have to build the bubble column itself. And then uh, after that, I just have to set up the collection system. And the fault where the skeletons fall. And uh, after, but after that I'll be done, so uh, hopefully this project is over pretty soon. Alright guys, the uh, whole farm is done. Uh, I don't appear to be getting any skeletons right now. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's not a spawn issue. <coughs> but uh, I'll have to figure that out in um next episode, because right now what I'm going to do is go back upstairs and uh, I'm pretty sure I'm going to get to work on our new base, our, uh, our house. So, um, I made my decision, uh, I'm gonna go with the cliffside house, and I decided instead of, uh, like, scheduling the whole thing out and just doing it by the book, um, I'm just gonna freehand when I'm up here, basically, which, uh, if you didn't understand what that meant, it means just, I'm just gonna be up here with all my materials and just do whatever I want, really. Uh, I want to find that staircase again, that, like, natural staircase or whatever. Uh, so, what I'm thinking is... I'm gonna have, like, a like a basic layout. What I'm thinking is having... Hold on one second here. Having a house, like, pretty much where the floor is at this height. Uh, I want to have um have it be oak wood oak planks oak strip wood all the varieties and oh dang it uh anyway so it's gonna be it's gonna be right up there glass uh oak wood all its varieties um stone most of those varieties and it's gonna hang out a little bit with like some support beams under it and i'm gonna use this crevice here as the way to get up i don't know if i'll make it a water elevator or just a uh like a natural staircase like I kind of just did now except more uh, easy to navigate but uh, I'm gonna do that in this episode but right now what I'm gonna do is um, I'm gonna go gather up some materials uh, I'll come, I'm gonna farm most of these trees around here uh, I'm gonna go down and mine some more and I'm also gonna f see if I can uh, AFK a little bit at the skeleton farm and at this iron farm but uh, I don't want to check it just yet because I want to have it be a surprise to see how much we get at the end of the episode. So uh, I'll come back to you when I have an when I have enough materials to start work on the house, and when I have um, AFK'd at both farms and made sure that they're working and uh, producing. But uh, yeah, I'll come back to you um, when all that's done. All right, I've been doing a good amount of work here. I have um. A good amount of everything. Uh, this took me, it's been an, about a day since the last cut. Uh, this took me a pretty, this didn't take as long as uh, all the stone and stuff did. Uh, I went back to the nether. Uh, I had to smelt up a ton of, uh, a ton of um, sand. A ton of, excuse me, a ton of cobblestone too. Um, but this wood I got uh, from uh, all up there and behind there. And uh, so that wasn't too hard to get. I probably got that within an hour, but the rest of this total probably took about two, two and a half hours to get, but uh, right now what I'm going to do is transport that all up there, and then I'm going to get to building. Alright guys, I uh, got started here a little bit with some, uh, I just planned out this part a little bit because I know this is going to be the hardest. I'm trying to make it like a little uh, deck, I guess, a little sky room where you can... Uh, just lean out and just see everything and that's why I made it all glass so you can just walk out but right now uh, it looks a little bit bad um, I removed all the scaffolding so that I could see what it looks like but right now it looks a little bit unsupported I might have to add some logs like right like that spot that spot and going up and down but right now it definitely just looks uh, unsupported but I feel like if I put maybe some supports going down onto the mountain that might look better uh, but I'm gonna keep working on um, figuring out how to make this look good and then uh, 
at the end I'll figure out how to make it look functional or how to actually be functional but um I'll get back to you when I make some more progress alright guys uh, I made this uh, these little supports here for this deck that I made I was trying to figure out ways to replace the glass because it looks a little bit blocky but uh, there's nothing I can really do uh, in survival right now uh, at this time in my world and but these supports that I added look pretty good I just made them using stairs and slabs dark oak wood uh, and then I put dark oak wood blocks in, in embedded in the wall to make it look like those were attached I didn't put anything on the glass because you're, the whole point is that you can see through it um, and I made the roof border all stairs which actually goes really well with these uh, supports here but I'm pretty sure I'm finished with this uh, I marked out two entrances there's one there that you can't that you can see and one there that you, right here where you can't really see but uh, right now what I'm gonna do is work on the entrance to get into this actual house so this is gonna be the main feature of the house but the actual like living space itself is gonna be inside the mountain so what I have to figure out now is I'm pretty sure I'm going to use this crevice right here. Uh, just figure out a way um, to make a cool little entrance going in. I'm pretty sure I'm going to use a water column, but um, if I figure out something else uh, that looks better and is easier, um, then I'll do that instead. But you can see this is kind of hard to work with because of how skinny it is. But I mean, yeah, I'm sure I could. I'm sure I could find a cool way to get in. But looking at it again, I'm almost certain it's going to be a water column. But I'll come back to you when I'm done with that. Alright guys, I uh, decided to go with the water elevators. It was by far the best choice, the easiest choice. Um, works the best. And you can see I hollowed out a little area in here, which is going to be our house for now. This is going to be the dimensions. It's going to go that deep and probably over here. I'm going to say maybe seven or eight blocks more that way. But uh, I'm not going to have time to do the rest of this today. In fact, we're probably uh, getting close to the end of the episode right now. So what I'm going to do uh, is come over and check this iron farm. Because uh, I've been waiting to see how much, it is, how much it's produced. We might be able to catch an iron golem spawning or getting uh, killed right when we're there. Uh, so let's see how, how good we did. Wow, that is, uh, that's not bad. Uh, this has been on for probably, I, almost exactly 24 hours. So, how many stacks is that? Uh, a little bit under 8. And the poppies, I don't really care about those, but, um, so 8 stacks in 24 hours isn't too bad. I could probably be doing a little bit better, but I'll see if I can make it more efficient. Uh, but I'll be doing that in the next episode. And next episode, I'm gonna be hoping I'm hoping to be able to have time to um, probably start to finish this house. Maybe not finish it, but finish the inside to make it uh, or at least hollow it out and set some plans and stuff. Uh, I will probably be decorating the episode after that. But um, next episode, I'm gonna also work on some of these farms. You can and in between episodes too, I'm gonna do some mining, some some of all that good stuff. But uh, what you can see over here um, is while I was, uh, during this episode actually, in between the, c the long cuts that I took, I uh, tidied up some of these farms. You can see I put leaves in the water, so now it should be really easy to harvest. And there's a ton of it now, so I could probably be getting this all right now, but I won't um, because I'll do that later. Uh, but yeah, I'll probably be able to... Uh, expand this and fill the rest of that lake so we'll have plenty of sugar cane I'll probably never really need to harvest that again if we're being honest uh, but right now I'm, what I'm actually gonna do is uh, get some harvest some of this wheat and do some breeding uh, but I hope you guys enjoyed this episode and uh, I'll see you guys next time